Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the mid-journey updates from October. More SREF codes were added to the Style Explorer throughout the month. Not only are there more styles to explore, but the search results are also more comprehensive. We also have two new style ranking tasks where you can help teach Midjourney what makes a great style and earn fast hours. If you wanna learn more about style reference, I just released a new complete guide here on YouTube, and I also have a style explorer demo that I'll link below. Two new style tools are expected to be released in the next few weeks, a style finder and a style creator. The style finder is expected to be a more powerful way for us to discover new styles to use in our prompts. The style creator will be a new way for us to create custom styles without using words and will be different from creating a mood board. We will be able to share the styles that we create with others. And based on their description, I kind of get the vibe that the style creator could be something like a more advanced version of the style tuner that we have in V5. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's all about. The other feature coming soon is user profiles. Adding user profiles involves website UI changes, so it's taking them a little bit longer to wrap up. We don't have a lot of details on what this will look like, but they've stated that we will be able to follow other users and that they're trying to be thoughtful to avoid negative dynamics that can sometimes come with social features. Next, we have some news about upcoming models. V7.1 is being tested with the guides and mods. A release is likely, but not guaranteed. The expectations for V7.1 are better prompt accuracy, improved image quality, an updated personalization system, and they're trying to add in a new feature that shows you real-time previews as you type your prompt. An updated Omni reference feature, however, might get pushed to V8. The V8 model is the team's main focus. V8 will be a major model release with a much broader and deeper knowledge base. The goal is for everything to be better, image quality and coherence, prompt adherence and aesthetics, Omni reference, including multiple Omni reference capability and more. They are a bit behind on getting the new datasets ready for the main training run, so the release timeline has slipped to January at the earliest. After V8 is released, we can expect a V2 video model with better quality, prompt adherence, and maybe even audio. I haven't mentioned 3D in a while, but that is still on their list for post V8. The initial goal is to allow us to change the camera angle more easily. They'll also be working on overhauling the editor, updating the models behind it, user interface, and enabling usage of Omni references. Next, we have several miscellaneous updates to go through. We can expect a lot of user interface changes to come over the next year, including gradual redesign of the website UI, along with changing and or moving menus and sidebars. If you are a mobile user, you'll be happy to hear that they've been fixing some mobile bugs and will work on creating a better mobile experience. I mentioned earlier that they're testing a new personalization system. The goal is for it to be much easier to set up your personalization profiles, eliminating the image ranking step entirely. They've said that it should also be better at avoiding unwanted color hues. My global personalization profile, for example, tends to add a teal hue to everything, which is nice sometimes, but I don't want it all the time. So it sounds like the new personalization should fix that. This new system should be out within the next month. Some news about Midjourney's storytelling tool that was introduced last year. Unfortunately, it sounds like work is being discontinued on this tool due in part to a key team member leaving and it being lower priority compared to many other ongoing projects. The Midjourney TV website has been updated so that you can add a slash and a number to the web address and see a grid of ever-changing videos instead of just one at a time. Office hours notifications now pop up on the website and you can join either on Discord or Twitter. Midjourney's office hours happen every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a great way to connect with the community and keep up to date with Midjourney. Midjourney is also holding some in-person community events. I think it's been close to a couple of years since Midjourney has held any in-person community events. Right now, it's a sailboat event just in San Francisco, but they are considering other places. You can check their official announcements for more information and if you want to sign up. I do these wrap up videos every month. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining my Patreon community where you'll find all of my monthly prompt collections, exclusive videos, and other mid journey guides. I recently posted a behind the scenes vlog showing some of my editing process and day to day work. And the next prompt collection will be out soon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.